Alright, so I said that I was going to have a huge book haul, so here it is. Relative to some of you, like Misty for example, this is a normal sized haul. But for me, this is a lot of books. Especially considering I didn't have any room to put them. Anyways, I love libraries, and my downtown branch just had a huge sale. So my mom and I went and there were a lot of books there and more unopened boxes waiting for some table space to clear up. So let's just get started. Her Fearful Symmetry by Audrey Niffenegger. I still haven't read The Time Traveler's Wife, but I'm really looking forward to reading both of them. The Cookbook Collector by Allegra Goodman. This has been on my to reads list almost as long as I've had Goodreads. The Thousand Autumns of Jacob de Zoet. This is by the same author as Cloud Atlas, which I just read and I've heard good stuff about this and I just really like the title. Committed, a love story by Elizabeth Gilbert. This is the same author of Eat, Pray, Love. This is essentially the sequel even though it's pretty much nonfiction. And I really enjoyed that book and her writing so I'm looking forward to this. Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro and it's a pretty well-loved movie by a lot of people here on YouTube as well as on Tumblr but I haven't seen it and this is actually the movie tie-in version which put me off at first but I decided if I didn't find a different edition of this book that I would go ahead and buy this one and I didn't so I got it. I also got The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. This is the first volume of his 56 short stories. This contains the first 12, including A Scandal in Bohemia. I haven't read any Sherlock before, but I've seen the American movie versions and the BBC show Sherlock, which I absolutely loved, so I think I will really like this too. I think I actually tried reading a Sherlock book or story when I was a kid, but couldn't really get into it because it was over my head or I wasn't used to the language or something like that. So I think now that I'm older I'll really appreciate it better. Also I'm not sure if I should read the stories in the order that they were written, so including the novels or does it really matter? If you know your Sherlock well, let me know. I've had the complete Sherlock on my wish list for a while so I wasn't sure if I should buy this since it's not all of them. But it has these really great illustrated portraits all throughout the book, so I had to get it. The Brontes by Juliet Barker. I was unsure whether to buy this as well because they just came out with a new edition with some new information and theories, which I really want. But this edition showed up in an episode of Gilmore Girls, which I was only able to recognize because I was familiar with this image of the sisters since I have done a lot of research on them. And I was able to confirm that it was this edition and not some other book that uses this image because of the size of this. This is a monster. It'll take a long time to read, but I think I'm really gonna like it. I did also see a biography of Katherine Graham, which Rory reads in the show at some point, but it's another huge one and a little bit out of my interest zone, so I didn't end up getting it. I also picked up The Westing Game by Ellen Raskin, which I read as a kid and thought was really awesome, but I didn't remember too much about it and really wanted to reread it, so I got it and I have since reread it and it is absolutely amazing. It's so awesome, full of puzzles and riddles and lovable characters, and it's pretty short so you can read it in a day if you really want to. And I'm really glad that I own this. Boy Meets Boy by David Levithan. The only thing I had read by him prior to buying this was Will Grayson, Will Grayson, which he wrote with John Green. And I have since read this and I really enjoyed it. The writing was really great, the story was just really interesting and it's pretty short too so you can also read it in a day and I definitely recommend this book. The Poisonwood Bible by Barbara Kingsolver. I haven't read anything by her but I've been recommended to read The Bean Trees but I didn't find that one there but I picked up this one instead. I really don't know anything about it, so I'm not sure if I like it or not, but we'll give it a try. Elsewhere by Gabrielle Zevin. I haven't read any of her books either, but a few of them are on my to-read list, including this one, and I've heard that a lot of people really love it. 
And lastly is Reading Lolita in Tehran. This sounds really good, but I haven't read Lolita yet, so I'll probably wait to read this until I read Lolita. So, what do you guys think I paid for those 12 books? $20? $10? $7? Nope. $4. $4 for all of that. Guys, if you live near a library, I highly suggest you find out if they're having any sales and hit them up because especially if you're like me and you don't have a job, you can get a lot of great books there for barely any money. Bookstores are great and independent bookstores are even better, but libraries give you free books, free knowledge, and it's really important to support that. Also, if you go to a library book sale, I highly recommend you bring a tote bag or two because books can get really heavy really quickly, as I found out. Once I get my own house and need to start up a kids collection of books, I'm going to a library book sale because there were tons of kids books there, children's books, that I didn't even look through that section and I could have bought so many more books. So yeah, big haul. Thanks for watching. Bye.